Hi guys, welcome back to Boomex Beauty Beat. Great to see you, Laura here. As you can see, I sort of have a weird face today. I did eyes, I did lips, but not complexion because I want to show you uh, what it will be like to drag on that beautiful, bronzy, glowy look through the fall months and enjoy it like that maybe you have a little bit of a base tan going just from the little bit of sun that you've had throughout the summer i want to show you how you can make your skin look glowy and dewy as a mature person because as we age not all of us but many of us our skin gets drier and drier and drier i have that i have dry skin and I have come up with a weird concoction and strategy in order to make the skin look super sensual and glowy and juicy and woo, youthful. It's been, you know, a, a trial and error thing and it's turned out to be one of my absolute favorite things to do. So stay tuned for this glow up. All right, when it comes to complexion, it's going to surprise you how I achieve this. It's going to be maybe a little different than what you've seen before. And uh, like I said, sometimes with trial and error, things just end up working their magic. You guys know I have this uh, contour and highlight and correction palette. I'm going to start here because the um, reason being is I use all three of these on this side here to build some depth, first of all. So I am going to do that. I just got to bring a mirror a little bit closer, um, but that's not all. There's so much to this. Is it worth it? I would say yes, because wow, I feel super sensual with the skin and it makes me feel youthful and beautiful. So I'm going to just grab up a little bit of this darkest one here. And you guys can see, like I've used this like crazy. All the products you're going to see are almost on their last legs because I've used it so much this summer. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm giving myself a little bit of dimension by using that cream base product, but I layer this up because it, you can do such a beautiful thin job on the skin and it, it melts right into the skin. You can see it's already building some depth. And then I walk along the palette into the different zones here and I go up a little bit in color and then grab up to the highlight color, this last color here, and I bring it up to the high cheekbone area. Okay, I'm gonna work this side of the face so you guys can see the crazy difference and then I'll quickly uh, go off screen and do the rest. Now, for under my eyes, you guys know that I do use correctors under my eyes. I have a little bit of corrector on, but I'm gonna go over it. So I'm taking up a little bit of this orangey tone. This is a corrector color and I'm putting it right under the eyes. Then I go into this sort of yellowy banana color and clean that up in here as well. And what that does is just brighten underneath the eye. So now we've got this dimension starting. So you can already see a bit of a difference there just with that. So then what I'm going to do is go back to this deeper, darker color, that, that kind of contrary color. And I'm going to also play around with my uh, jaw area and just give this a little bit of a soft chisel. There we go. Just building up a little bit of a jawline. There. All right. And now we're going to start with the base on top and I'll show you how that works. So during this whole thing, I'll show you some of my favorite um, glow up products that I found. So I'm going to take my foundation. This is the Boom X Beauty foundation, the satin one, and I'm going to take up some color. This is quite a nice deep tone. And then I usually take up a secondary color, like a little lighter, and I double that up so that I can nail the color pretty exactly. So I've got two colors, one just slightly deeper than the other. And then what we're gonna do is take Danessa Myricks. This is the Beauty Oil Hydrating Face Oil. Um, I take this and I dr put droplets inside. Oops, it's got a little. Okay, so I'm mixing in the Danessa Myricks beauty oil a few droplets of this and you can see i'm on my last legs of this that's why i'm like oh gosh i better do this video before i run out um, because it's kind of a secret weapon and then i'm just going to do like a regular all over base nice like coverage one where i've got full coverage but with the oil it, it thins it down enough so that it doesn't look 
it avoids that cakey appearance that we can get with foundation sometimes when you really you know put a pretty solid base down and I'm just gonna like apply this up on half my face so you guys can see like the difference and I'm just taking it up onto my sponge and I'll just make sure that I've got like my jaw covered and properly put down but don't forget your ear because your ear color is so different than your face and especially when you're doing these bronzy glowy looks it seems to like have a way of being embarrassing at the wrong moment if you don't um, do that so I go ahead and do that okay so that is that bit there so you can see that I've got already like a warmth it's warming up a little bit because I'm using tones in my base that kind of enhance the glowy appearance but there's like a few steps to this you guys hang in it's worth it all right so from here I'm gonna do some of my tried and true concealer this is the Bumex concealer and I'm just gonna pump out a little bit the concealer is going to look lighter than my skin because I like to brighten a little bit underneath my eyes and you can use a peachy tone a golden tone a neutral tone whatever works the best for you and you can also clean up the edge of your um, you know eye makeup with your concealer as well and if it's not bright enough you can always take something even lighter like a lighter concealer and like do a little bit of a brightening effect right in the inner corner just to freshen up the inner corner a tiny bit I like doing that sometimes okay and then you could just take your sponge and soak up the excess a little fluff on there you could take up a little bit of concealer with your sponge as well just to make sure you've got it nicely positioned everywhere okay and if you want to you can put a little bit here so that you have a bit more demarcation between your cheekbone area and it kind of lifts that up a little bit and where you kind of touch the jawbone area there you guys can see the difference there now we'll go back and just do a real real soft powder but there's more steps don't go this is where it gets good so I kind of enjoy this uh, translucent one size from Patrick Star, I like this powder, so we'll try playing in this for today. I like to dip up a little bit of powder into the sponge that has moisture in it, what I've worked on my foundation, because that will make it look less cakey. And just lightly, lightly do a powder, just a light, nice, soft powder to get it so that it's going to stay in place. And then we're going to put some layers on top of the powder, which is what makes, you know, this whole look kind of come together. So we've done that, so you guys can see the difference there. Now I go right back in, believe it or not, to this, and I build an additional layer. So we're going into that deep contour color, go back and reinforce where that was. And because you've got that little bit of powder in there, it's fine, it's got staying power now. And then you can do your jawline again as well. So it's a double up, I know, pain in the butt, but see how that works and it built up that depth so quickly and then you could put a little bit of this like little peachy color above it like this okay now what you're going to want to do next is funny so i have a balm from Danessa myricks as well one of the best balms i've ever experienced and it does magic to adding to all of this like dewy sensual glowy look so let's grab that and I'll show you how to work with it all right so here's the Danessa Myricks balm but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin the bronzing process you can grab your favorite bronzers here's a couple of them just to show you here's one from um, Charlotte Tilbury this is in uh, number two this one is is my all-time favorite I've got to get a new one because I love it so so much and that's the Kevin O'Quan bronzer and you guys will see like look at I've got one little tiny corner left this is the neo bronzer I, I don't think I've ever found a bronzer this amazing it is so great and I'm taking up a little of that little corner to show you guys it's just it packs such a punch and it gives you a great immediate bronze effect so we're just going into where all the places that the Sun hits the face if you want to do multiple bronzers it's fine grab some Charlotte 
go ahead, layer. You want to layer and layer and layer and layer and layer. And because you're just doing thin layers and you've got all that moisture, your face will accept all of it. I'm going to show you one more bronzer here just to give you a bit more to look at. There's this bronzer from, um, we know from Patrick Ta, and it's got a balm and a bronzer to it. So you can, in fact, put a little bit of balm, just pat it on top of all of this. It's creating such a nice dewy effect. And then you can even grab some more of this bronzer, whatever bronzer you're in love with. I, I, I like to layer at least two bronzers because one of them is normally a little bit more dull and then I like to grab one that's got a little packs a little more punch so that I can kind of softly groom softly groom it now what we're gonna do is uh, take a little bit of we'll just take this Milani brush blush for an example and I'll show you how you're gonna work the color into your cheeks all right, this is number 130, Cheek Kiss with Milani. And Milani has, I think, one of the best creamy creamy blushes, but that's all opinion, right? That's just what I feel. Um, so I'm gonna take up my brush. I'm just using the same brush I use on my bronzer and I take up a little bit and then I dabble this on to gain that little bit of color. Well, that looks like a lot of color. <laughs> that's fine, because I can just use my sponge and dabble, 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 dabble. We're dabbling. I, I use my sponge and I, I don't want to put bl blush up here, but just this bit on the sponge gives a warmth to the skin. Then if I want to, oops, I can grab a little bit of balm and make this even juicier if I need to. And it gives it an effect. You can layer, layer, layer. You can go back and grab a little bit more bronzer from say Charlotte Tilbury and go back in with a bit of dry if it's getting too wet looking and build it, build it, build it, build it in layers. Okay, you can bring this down. I'm gonna just um, bring down my shoulders a little bit and you can work this onto the neck, whatever's in your brush, just work it all onto your neck so it all kind of coordinates together. Excuse me, my corners of my lips are moving around because I hit it, sorry about that. Hopefully we got it. Okay, so we're building, building, building. Now I go back and I get, when I'm doing the blushing, I go back and I get dry products as well so it doesn't get too dewy and so that it holds for the day. Picking up one of my favorite blush palettes. Uh, this is from Scott Barnes and I'll just pick up like a little bit of this little pinch cheek color. I might mix a couple colors together and just gently tap it on so that it cements in the previous blush because a lot of times with the creams if you just have the creams and you got a lot of balms on and you have no powders kind of counteracting that it will slide too much to make it reasonable okay so then we're not done there's more so then from there we're going to take um, this really cool product it is um, from MAC this is the golden bronze color and basically with this it's a loose bronzy product um, this is kind of like a coordinator, but it also gives a touch of highlight. So this gives you a shimmery bronze, a loose bronze effect, but this is going to be such a friend for the rest of your body. Now when you start to get to like the chest area, stuff like this, there's also bronze shimmer sprays like this one from, um, from ha Scott Barnes, Hampton Sun. It gives you a really nice bronzy sort of soft effect. But when you put a little bit of that down and you add a little bit of the dry bronze to it, it sticks a little nicer and it makes your skin look super glowy and showy and gorgeous. Wow. Like crazy amount of pretty. And use this on, you know, you can use this on the face where the sun hits it. It's all great and fine. And then there's a little bit more and then I promise that's it. I know Becca's no longer, but I still I still adore their highlighters, okay? So I'm gonna go back in with um, the Becca highlighter. You guys can use actually the same, I mean, I use the same brush a lot of times because I can I can do, do it because I'm going to go into the cheek. So basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go in on top of this and give it an extra little highlighty glow like that. You see it there? 
it's amazing and then i i usually go back with like my favorite bronzer like the kevin aqua or you know go back into your charlotte tilbury and give it one final little bronze okay and then the very 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 last thing that i do is i grab a liquid blush a liquid blush and then i touch the top of my cheek with that and i'll show you that so I've got the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush and Happy. It's one of my favorites. So it is a little bit different to work with. So you might want to put a little bit onto your hand. And then I take a bit into my brush because the brush is nice and wide and disperses the product a little bit easier. And then I make sure it's like dispersed. And then just pop it here. And what that does is it'll seal it in. It'll seal in that little bit of glow, that color. And then you can always take your sponge and just dabble it around like that okay and then you just I got makeup all over my shirt which is no big surprise um, so that basically I mean that's it and you can always go back and add take away blend blah 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 but look look at how juicy your skin look my, my skin looks like it's just younger and glowy and same thing with the body it's glowy it's got a little glisten to it i love when the shoulders when you're doing an off the shoulder and your shoulders look like they've got just a little glow to them and let me tell you it gets noticed people talk about how beautiful and youthful and gorgeous my skin looks now as opposed to when i just do like regular base foundation and nothing else so all these little steps like it seems like I've got a ton of makeup on, but in actuality, doing all these little layers, it ends up looking like skin in the end. And I love that way it looks, and I love how it feels. It feels so dewy. So, I mean, this oil's amazing to use. The balm's amazing. So check out Danessa because she does have a great sale on for Labor Day. And um, I'll go and finish the rest of my face, and we'll do a wrap-up there you have it guys whoop i'm a little high there i'm just going to show you too if you want to accentuate anything extra on your collarbone area like here you can take um, a little bit of the bronzer any kind of bronzer this is the balm part and this is going to give it a little bit of moisture here and take the bronzer and go over it and it will just bring out your collarbone even more on top of everything so remember, layer, layer, layer. Remember to layer. Don't forget with your foundation, adding a, a bit of oil of any kind is going to give it a bit of a glisten. Yes, you do need a touch of powder in order to solidify it, but you can go back over it with the balms and you can go back over it with the shimmer powders and you can go back over it with the liquid blushes and back over it with more bronzer. So just remember all of that build a nice a nice bit of depth in your cheekbone area and that will give a glowy shape to the face and i i feel so great in this kind of skin as opposed to this kind of cake down version of makeup this makes your skin look so much more youthful i hope you guys are going to try at least some of these little tricks cream blushes you know using highlighter mixed in blending it in with your powders with your um, bronzers any of those things just keep building and blending and adding small thin layers to this whole strategy and i promise you you're gonna get something see like look at all of this it looks like it's my skin's glistening and it's dry as a bone normal i hope this has been helpful for you guys because i I don't want summer to end as far as like, the skin look goes. I love this look. And I don't see any reason why we can't drag this into fall because I just love it all. I will link as many of these as I can find in the description box below. Uh, but hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. And get your glow on. Doesn't matter what age you're at. You can always look juicy and dewy and pretty. And even if you've got the driest skin in the world. See you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Holy moly, does it mean a lot to the channel. And I uh, love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye for now.